Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for all your amazing contributions to this incredible cause. Give him a hand. Thank you, Michael. Money is energy, and gold and money is really relevant only insofar as it transmutes itself to generosity, to love, to goodness. Thank you, everyone who is supporting this cause. I don't have a heart. I have a blazing wild fire, a mad scorching star burning within me. You are just lucky I'm covered by skin. Our next speaker, <laughs> our next speaker is Lori Handlers. We all know Lori. And I just want to say one of the most important pieces of the design process ahead is to nourish our erotic intelligence. So let's give a big hand for Lori. Thank you. Hi, everybody. So my topic is sex. Woohoo! So I was set up yesterday really well by Suzanne Summers because she talked about it a little bit. She gave you a little introduction to what was happening in her sex life, which was really cool. I was very happy about that. And the thing is, I only have 10 minutes, so this is going to be like speed dating, only it's speed sex. All right? So bear with me. I'll give you the most that I can, the most bang for the buck, as they say. OK, so my topic is how sex affects ultimate health and radical life extension. And my website is butterflyworkshops.com. All right, so here are the questions. How can sex affect your emotional and your overall health? The second question, how can sex be a holistic form of healing? And the third question is, how can sex prolong your life and possibly radical life extension and even lead to physical immortality, which is the topic some of us are really on to. So a little bit about me. I've been teaching about sex for the last 20 years. I'm an author, I'm a film producer, and I also have a radio show that I've been broadcasting about sex and happiness for over a decade. And I'm pretty happy. I think that sex and happiness go hand in hand. Like, I think you can't be that happy if you're not having sex, and I think that you can't be that sexy if you're not happy. And Suzanne Summers said that, so. I'll go with that. Anyway, he, there are four kinds of sex. Listen up. Most of you know about two of them. The first two, procreation. Any animal can do that. Every animal knows how to procreate. Most of you have done that. Most other animals have done that. There's not that much to it, really. OK? The second is recreational sex. So you could, you could have met somebody here. You could meet somebody at a party. You could meet somebody at a networking event, and you could have recreational sex with them. Maybe a one-night stand, maybe a one-year stand. Doesn't last too long, but it's pretty. It could be pretty hot and enjoyable. I'm not making these wrong. I'm just saying there's more to it. So the other two kinds, which I'm going to talk about a lot here, are restoration sex and transformation sex. OK? So here we go. Restoration sex is the kind of sex that when you have it, you feel so good all over. It feels like you've been on a two-week vacation, even if you've only spent an hour or two with somebody. Or, let me put my glasses down, with yourself. <laughs> Just saying. Thank you. OK. <laughs> Transformational sex is when you feel like you're floating in the cosmos, like you've just hit nirvana with yourself or with somebody, OK? And so, and I'm going to talk more about transformation sex in a little. So let's talk about restoration. Restorational sex TKOs depression and mental illness. Restorational sex makes us feel better overall. I'll talk about why. And some of it's been mentioned already. I love this picture of Muhammad Ali, so I use this as often as I can to say how sex can TKO depression. Restorational sex can, has mental health facts. So we, it, it increases feelings of overall wellness and produces permission to have pleasure in the body. 
So a lot of us were brought up that we, it was a sin to have pleasure in the body. Hopefully you're all eradicating that as I speak, okay? You want to have, yes, you want to have pleasure in your body, okay. Restoration sex produces oxytocin, and oxytocin fights cortisol. And you want to fight cortisol because, as most of the scientists have said here, cortisol produces an effect that eventually kills us in the body. So we want to produce as much oxytocin as possible. And by the way, you can produce oxytocin in your body with these. I'm going to say this over and over again because some of you in this room do not have partners, and you have walked by my booth and said, well, I don't have anybody. And I said, so? <laughs> you got these. Right? And I'm sharing a booth with somebody who, and I'm sharing my booth with somebody who's shown you some other ways to deal with it if you don't feel like using these. Okay, just saying. So, <laughs> restoration sex has other mental health. I said, oh, permit, did I go backwards? Oh, sorry. I'm going, what happened here? Okay, so I, I got to the peace, I got to the oxytocin. Oxytocin helps us feel more loving, feel more connected, feel more bonded to other people. So we want to have as much oxytocin as possible in our bodies. There are some people here in the audience, I see them, they know about external oxytocin. Get oxytocin however you can get it. You can try hugging somebody for 20 seconds and you'll feel better than you did 20 seconds before. Do it. Try hugging people in this room as you're walking out the room. Put your arms around somebody you don't even know and just see how, feel, how good it feels. <laughs> Why not? I don't, listen. I don't see any ax murderers in this room. There's nobody in here to be afraid of. Seriously, make friends, make more friends. Okay, the other things you want to produce having sex are endorphins, serotonin, and dopamine. Okay, you want all of those chemicals going to the brain. You want all of those things racing through the body because this is what makes us feel good and it makes us want to stick around, makes us happy. Okay, so the, you've probably all seen this. You don't grow, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. <laughs> Thank you, Giselle. <laughs> so you want so you want to keep going. You want to play. You actually want to play, and your body is a big playground. You want to just have fun. You want to have these chemicals. And you also want to have oxygen going through all the cells in your body. You want to have blood flowing to the brain, and sex is a great activity to have this happen. It's, it could be underrated for that. I don't know. Okay, so other factoids. Did I leave anything out? Let's see. You're, you, it, it fires your nerves in every single cell. I said about the blood. I said about the oxygen. Oh, when you have sex and you start really feeling better, it lowers cravings, like junk food cravings. It does. <laughs> and um, it lowers menstrual cramps for people who are still doing that. Um, you have increased deep sleep. Lots of really great health benefits by having great sex. Okay. Especially for women, I want to talk about now the, the M word. Women should self-pleasure. I will say the word, masturbation. Women should self-pleasure. And if you come to my booth, you will see something called yoni eggs. And you see an egg right here. This is a black obsidian egg. This is a way that you can learn to use the, rebuild the muscles and use the muscles inside the vagina to strengthen the walls, and you can also do weightlifting. Many of us go to the gym and we do bicep curls. Well, this is doing curls down there. So, <laughs> so it's really important. You know the, the adage, what you use, you don't lose. Good thing. Okay. Anyway, you feel sexier, you feel healthier. You, as I said, lo we lower junk food cravings. Women who feel sexy and attractive and know it walk around a completely different way than women who don't. And everyone knows. And it doesn't matter what their weight is. It doesn't matter what their age is. 
It doesn't matter their height, short, tall, doesn't matter. None of that matters. If you feel good about yourself and you walk into a room, everybody knows it. Okay. Men. Thank you. Men. Specifically for men. This is a wand. The picture that you see, it's not a great picture, but this is a wand. It has two sides. One side is meant to stimulate the G-spot in women, which is a particular stimulation that is different from clitoral stimulation, feels really, really good, and produces different types of orgasms. By the way, orgasms, I can't say enough about them, but my topic today is not orgasm. You'll have to see me another time for me to just talk about that. One side of this wand is meant to stimulate men's prostate. So it goes inside the anus, and it touches the prostate, and touches it very gently and very slowly, because you have to do that really slowly and carefully. And it's meant to stimulate the prostate so that men can start to feel that again and take ownership of their prostate. Oh, I got to hurry. Let's see. Transformation. OK. If you add sex magic to your belief, believing that we can live forever, then we just might make it. And here's what it is. Sex magic is the deliberate use of orgasm to fuel your intentions. So you set your intention, and then you set about having self-sex or partner sex, and you release the intention at the moment of orgasm. It's like the laws of attraction on steroids. OK. I'm, not, I don't, I have, I'm out of time. I just want to say, have sex. Have any kind of sex. If you're over 50, have it three times a week with these or someone. And if you're under 50, have it every day with these or with someone. Have sex. I have one last slide. If you take out your phone and you want this sli these slides, take a picture of this right now, and I will send you my slideshow. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure to talk about pleasure.